Hi, I'm Alison from the Outsider Chartered Accountants. Today I'm going to walk you through making a batch payment. So you can pay all your bills from zero and upload a file to your internet banking. Provided that your internet banking allows you to upload a file, it's generally business subscriptions only. Um, and you can pay all your creditors in one foul swoop. So let's go to business and we'll go to bills to pay. So here in my awaiting payments tab, I've got a lot of bills that I've got to pay and I'm wanting to sort of just pay a whole lot today. So I'm going to go through and select the bills that I want to pay today. And what will happen is right here where I'm just circling my mouse, it shows you how many items you've got selected and how much those items total. So that if you've got a banking limit, you can actually keep track of how big your batch payment is. So then once we've selected the bills that we want to pay in batch, we've got a batch payment button here and it lets us know we've selected six items to pay. So all we do here is we've got a screen. Now Xero is quite smart in that if you put in a bank account number here, it will remember that bank account, it will remember the particulars code and reference for the next time you pay somebody from batch payments. So this is a little thing in Xero where if you make the investment of time now to get these, this information in, it can pay off dividends and those time savings later. So I'm gonna actually set this up for payment next Tuesday. I'm going to pay it from my bank account, business bank account. It's important that you get the business bank accounts correct when you select them from the drop down box. The bank account that you select here has to match the bank account for the file that you're uploading to your banking. There's a check in the file and the bank will reject your file if you don't have this correct. So just take the time to make sure everything is there. You can put some particulars to appear on your bank statement and you might call that creditors batch September. So you can enter bank accounts and it will remember those bank accounts for the future. For the purposes of this demonstration I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to put the same bank account for the rest of them. So I'm going to now, I'm happy with what I've got, I've checked it, I'm going to make a payment. So there we have it, I've created my first batch payment from zero. So now what? I've got here export batch file which is fantastic. This creates the file that you upload to your internet banking. Again, check with your bank if they can do this for you and what format the file needs to be. Generally, Xero's batch files are accepted at all banks. If there is an error, it will let you know. But otherwise, if we're happy that it's done, we'll click export and it will bring up a box to save the file. So we've now exported our batch file. If you like to keep paper records or a record somewhere, you can print a PDF record of the batch. To let your suppliers know that you've paid them, you've got a send remittance button here. So once again, it's one of those things with zero. If you put the time in now, you'll get the gains in the future. So if any email addresses you put in here to send remittance advices to will be remembered in the future. You can choose whether or not you've got a branding theme. And you can also choose what information goes in the remittance advice. And if you want, you can send yourself a copy and click send. And so there you have it. So when you upload that batch file and it goes through your bank, you'll have a transaction there sitting in zero ready to reconcile against. So if we go to our reconciliation report, if we go to my, if we look here at my bank reconciliation report, I'm just going to run it because I set that in the future. We've got our batch there, so we've got payment, multiple items, and that's our batch payment. So as soon as it sees the transaction come through, your internet banking should hopefully show it as one line. Again, something to check with your bank. You can match all those bills off against that one line. And Xero will suggest it to you as a green line as well to say, hey, I've got a match. So that's how you do a batch payment from Xero. My name's been Alison. And I hope you've enjoyed this Zero Byte session. Stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more sessions in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.